Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth, and I'm going to show you how the View History screen on Wikipedia helps you understand the history of how an article was developed. This is part of a series of instructional videos about Wikipedia produced for the project Communicate OER. A Wikipedia article, as you probably know, is typically created by a number of different people making small edits over a period of time. If you want to understand how an article developed, your best option is to look at the View History tab in the upper right-hand side of the screen. The View History screen gives you one line for every edit to the article with the most recent at the top. In this case, we can see that the most recent edit was made by me, Pete Forsyth, uh, and I'm going to go through and show you what all the other items on the line represent. I'm going to start with the first link uh, in, the, in the line, and I'll come back and cover the things at the left-hand side at the end. The date and timestamp tells you when the edit was made, and it also allows you to link directly to that version of the article. I want to see what the article looked like uh, on October 1st, 2011. I can click on this link, and I will get to a screen with a pink banner at the top that reminds me I'm looking at an old revision and it shows me exactly what the page looked like. After that, as I mentioned before, we have the user account name. So this will give you a link to the user page of the user who made that edit. If the person has not created a user account, you're going to see a string of numbers, which is an IP address. And if you click this, it's going to show you the various things that were contributed from that IP address. The next link is the talk page, so if you want to make a comment to that specific user, this is their user talk page and will allow you to uh, leave a public message for them uh, that they will see, that they'll get alerted to when they log in next. And the next link is contribs, which is short for contributions. This is uh, a link to a screen that looks similar to this, except it's going to be a list of the, all of the edits to different articles that this one user made. Continuing to the right, we will sometimes see uh, an M, or there are a few other letters that might uh, indicate uh, something specific about this edit. An M indicates that we're looking at something that's been labeled a minor edit. That's something that the person has chosen to attach to their edit, um, and it's a, it's a judgment call. It's not terribly important when you're editing, um, but some people like to make their typo fixes, minor edits, and if they add a few paragraphs to an article, they would not label that a minor edit. Um, the, next, uh, the next thing that you'll see is the number of bytes in the article. In the English language, a byte more or less represents a character or a letter, so this gives you a rough idea how many letters are in the article, how long the article is. What may be a little bit more useful is just to the right of that, where it tells you how many letters were added or removed in that edit. So in this case, 12 characters were removed. Uh, and then if it's positive and green, like in a case like this, you see that 11 characters were added in this edit. Uh, if it's a larger number, you'll typically see that appear in bold, uh, as we can see in some of the earlier edits in this article. Uh, continuing to the right, we have one of the more important components, which is the edit summary. When you see something in, in gray and with the arrow uh, that says section edit, that tells you what section of the article the edit was made to. And then to the right of that, this is the edit summary that the editor has chosen to describe what it is that they were doing in that edit. So in this case, I tweaked the formatting. Uh, in the previous edit, this person fixed section names uh, according to a certain policy or guideline document. Uh, in the edit before that, the person did not indicate exactly what their edit was, but you can see it was to the history section. Um, this is a, a good reminder of why it's important to edit, enter an edit summary every time you make an edit, because it helps people understand what you're doing and it helps people work with you. Uh, finally, you'll see a link that says undo, uh, and this is an easy way to roll back or revert an edit. Uh, I shouldn't use the term roll back because that's actually a technical term for undoing a, a whole string of edits, um, but revert is the word that's typically used for this. Revert and undo are the same thing. Uh, and uh, as you can see, if I were to undo an edit, that would show up as a new edit 
so it would be possible for someone to to restore it or at least to have a conversation about why I thought it was a good idea to undo it. This is really one of the most important lessons of the the history screen is that it shows how Wikipedia is very resilient to changes. If at any time we want to go back to an older version of the article, it's always possible. And it's also always possible to have a discussion about an older version because everyone can see uh, what the different revisions were. OK, I told you I was going to come back to the left-hand side, so let's do that now. Um, the buttons that you see allow you to select any two revisions of the article. Uh, and then if you click the Compare Selected Revisions button, it's going to show you what the differences are between those versions. So let's say that I'm interested in what Mercury Wood Rose did in these two edits. I'm going to click the button just below, just, just prior to his or her first edit, and then I'm going to click the button on the most recent edit by that user. Now I'm going to click Compare Selected Revisions. And in this screen, on the left-hand side, we'll see the old version of the article, and then on the right-hand side, the more recent version of the article. So in this case, the person removed the items that are in bold on the left and added the items in bold on the right. And you can see that they're highlighted, and there's some extra text provided for context to help you see what part of the article you're looking at. Uh, also, at the top, you should note, note that there are some there's some uh, important contextual information. The top link will let you jump directly to that revision of the article. Uh, then again, we have uh, the username and links to the talk and cont contributions name. Uh, in this case, it's the person who had made the most recent edit uh, before the user we're interested in <clears throat> uh, came along and made edits. Uh, and then again, we'll see the, uh, the edit summary by that person and that they labeled it a, a minor edit. And you can browse through the edits by clicking on this previous or next edit button. Finally, on the left-hand side, you see links to uh, comparisons between the line that you're on and the current version of the article or the previous version of the article. These are just shortcuts to common uh, combinations of the buttons that you could select over here. Uh, so in this case, if I select these two, that's going to be the same as clicking previous. Um, and if I wanted to click this one and the most recent, that would be the same as clicking current down here. Uh, I'd like to also note that this format is, uh, is similar to several other useful screens on Wikipedia. Uh, the most important uh, are probably the user contributions screen. So as I uh, mentioned before, if we click on the con contributions screen next to a user, we'll see a list that looks fairly similar to what we just looked at. But this is their edits across different articles and also your watch list, which is a link uh, on the upper right-hand side of the screen. If you watch um, an article by clicking the star, then you're going to be able to see recent changes to that article uh, arranged in a watch list by clicking the link at the top of the screen. This video was produced for the Communicate OER project in 2013. Communicate OER is a project to foster collaboration in improving Wikipedia articles about openness in education. For more instruction about Wikipedia, visit our project's home. If you'd like to take a free online course about Wikipedia, visit us at the School of Open.